All right. Energy at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, there's something going on in a family unit. Okay, this Ten of Cups talks about the ultimate happiness. Okay, ultimate happiness. But the card that I saw next to it was the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords talks about anxiety. So when I pull the rest of these 10 cards, I want to see what's going on with this happy home and this happy family. Okay, Aquarius? Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups, which tells me that whatever the case is, I'm just, just getting a feeling that because the overall energy is the Ten of Cups, regardless of what you may be going through right now in this family situation, it is likely meant for you to tough it out. And sometimes we don't understand that depending on how things are going in the relationship. You may be dealing with infidelity. You may be dealing with somebody who's spending up the money, all kinds of fucked up or whatever the case is. But intuitively what I'm being told with this 10 of cups is that this happiness that was once there, it, the potential for it to be there again is very much a possibility, but you're going to have to get through this, 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 this rocky time right now. Okay. You have to understand all relationships are like that. No relationship is perfect. The longer you've been with that person, the more hills and valleys you're going to see. And the whole point is that you guys know how to get through those hills and valleys in ways that you did not know how to get to before because of the time that you've been in that thing. Okay. But let's talk about it. First card is the Knight of Wands. Okay. Knight of Wands. Second card. The six of swords, third card, three of swords, next card, seven of wands, next card, king of cups, next card, temperance, the star, ace of cups, queen of wands, and the queen of swords. Okay. Yes, we are dealing with some infidelity. So for those of you who suspect any infidelity in your relationship, Aquarius, I'm here to give you that validation. The very first card that let me know that is this knight of wands. A knight of wands is somebody who comes in and out the house whenever the hell they want to. They come and go whenever they please. Sometimes they come and go whenever they please because they just like their time to yourself, but to themselves. But it's not like you don't like time to yourself too, right? But this person is not understanding that them coming in and out the door whenever they want is a total disrespect to the relationship overall, especially if you share children. And that's usually what the Ten of Cups represents, a family. Then the next card that we get is this Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords talks about you wanting to move on. You wanting to go in a different direction. And you kind of want to do it very discreetly as well. You want to take your child or your children with you. You want to get to safer, calmer waters because things are starting to build up in a way that you don't like. You're even having to defend yourself against this person, whether it be emotionally, psychologically, or in any way, other shape or form. There are several ways that you could defend yourself or have to defend yourself but your heart is broken behind what used to fill your cup. What used to fill your cup is no longer filling your cup. And you feel like you have to now be more action oriented with this individual. And you're, you're starting to consider cutting this person off. Your feelings are all over the place in this relationship. And I see this King of Cups. And when I've been seeing this King of Cups, you know, when I see this King of Cups, you have no idea how many people know how to play the role of the King of Cups but it ain't shit king of cups about they ass, okay? They know how to play the role of the king of cups to get you to stay. They wouldn't know what to do if you left. That's why separations are sometimes very necessary because when you separate from the person that you love very much and you don't realize that you love that person very much, but you separate for a little while from that person, you know, it's the first thing that comes to that person's mind is I'm lonely as shit. This other person who I thought was going to be so much greener on the other side of that grass, that grass is dead as shit. I want to go back to my Aquarius. Know that this could be a vice versa reading as well. Somebody's heart is broke. Somebody's cup is not being filled the way that it used to be filled. Now you feel like you want to defend yourself by leaving this person who feels that they could come and go as they please. You feel like you might want to cut this out. You want to cut this person out. If this is what love is, what some of you are saying, if this is what love is, I don't want it. But be careful of what you say because you do want love, okay? And it's going to come with problemas, okay? Problemas. Love never comes with this just beautiful, amazing arrangement, okay? It's a dance. You have to understand it's a dance. Sometimes you step on each other's toes. 
It's the amount of forgiveness and the amount of trust that this person has given you with that forgiveness that shows you if you're supposed to stay in that thing or not. But if this person continues to break your heart and continues to put you in a position where you always feel like you want to leave and you always want to defend yourself against what this person is doing, I'm seeing that now you are getting to a place where you want to get action oriented, get your ass on that boat and let your spirit guide take you where you need to go next. I don't know what the universe is doing. I don't know why the universe is is allowing these relationships that had been going on for year upon year upon year upon year upon year and they're ending all of a sudden. I thought this type of energy would have just been gone by January, but you know what? We're going to need to talk about it as tarot readers because this is what we're seeing and I'm going to come with a completely different approach. Always try to work that thing out. Always. You know, let the person know, you know, you are on thin ice because of A, B, and C. And if you don't stop doing A, B, and C, I'm rolling out. You may not even want to give them, you know, um, any advance notice, depending on why you're over here defending yourself against this person. And I feel like I might, might even be talking to a male. Because the person that's putting in the action that's making another person feel like they need to defend themselves, it looks like it's a woman. And this woman has the nerve to think that, you know, she could go ahead and cut you out like you come a dime a dozen. I just love that when I see that in relationships. And I'm being sarcastic. You know, the other person thinks that they could do so much better out there. They forgot about all the times you bailed them out of jail. They forgot about all the times that you fed them when they asked was hungry because they didn't have no money. Because that's the thing about being in relationships. You're in relationships with that person. You, you're going to see them on their most busted days. You're going to see them when they busted, dusted, and cannot be trusted. And you're going to be the only one there for their ass. And that's why they get back to that state of the betterment. Because you stayed and because you were there for them. You were meant to be there for each other. But see, when the other person forgets about all that love that you put into that thing. And all that, all that, all that love that you put into the relationship. And now this person wants to gallivant along with no regard for your feelings. And here you are in a state of needing to be healed. Your heart is broken all the time. You feel like you need to defend yourself against this person's actions. And you're feeling like you want to cut them out. Because your cup is not being filled the way that it used to be filled. You've gone to the cosmos with this. That's why your reading is the way it is. Because the cosmos are talking back and letting you know. And giving you the best advice based on the current situation. So I'm going to close you out with another five cards. And if I feel as though, yep, the death card popped up. The two of swords, which talks about choices and decisions. The two of pentacles. Baby, the high priestess. And the four of pentacles. Straight up. Okay, let me tell you something about this person that you're with, Aquarius. This person, this person, this person... They only want you when somebody else wants you. That's who you're dealing with. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't want you until somebody else wants you. They like to put you on the shelf like some kind of little toy that they could take down and play with whenever they want to. Put you on the shelf. Let the, let the dust collect. When somebody comes over to, the, to your house and they're like, wait a minute, you got this classic bomb ass thing on your shelf and you don't play with it? Let me play with it. And then they get all butt hurt. Because why? They didn't even realize that they had what they had in you. And that's something that they have to deal with. That's one of their karmic lessons that they have to learn in this relationship with you. And there's a karmic lesson that you have to learn in this relationship with them. And if I were to guess what that is, it's for you to set boundaries with regards to what is balanced for you. How much of their fuck shit are you going to deal with and how much is too much fuck shit? You have a decision to make. Are you going to let this relationship die? Because it's pretty much at death status. Your cup is empty. No, that ace of cups is not there. Underneath this three of swords, which talks about heartache because everything's beautiful. No, especially with this queen of swords and this four of pentacles, which represents a quite a bit of selfishness. Someone who likes to do things when you ain't looking. This person does stuff when you ain't looking. They have no integrity either. I'm just telling it like it is, baby. Okay, and your intuition's already told you this. That's why the high priestess is here. You just want validation. But if you want to go into your personal cards and really talk about how you should manage this particular situation, because maybe you have children together, you don't want to end this thing. Well, then let's talk about how you can possibly salvage it. And if the person is just totally and completely oblivious to what you're bringing to the table, which is quite a bit, love, quite a bit, 
Because in relationships, it all don't you notice? There's always one chaser and one is running away, and then it, and then it changes. Like you find yourself in a relationship, you know, and you've been in this relationship for a long time, and then you find that for a while, here you are chasing this person's affection, and you want this person's affection, and you want, you know, this person to give you, like, all, you want to be numero uno for them, and then you go through a period of, like, where you just kind of need a break from, from being smothered, you know what I mean? And they get that point, and then when they get that point, they get all butt hurt, they become distant, and then they start to flip the script. Instead of them saying sh she or he just needed time to themselves, Instead of them taking it that way, because maybe you didn't communicate it that way, whatever the case, it, that's what I'm telling you. Relationships are about learning, learning how to communicate, learning how to love the right way, learning how to, how, how to balance yourself out, learning when to know when your cup is full and learning when to know that when your heart is broken, it's broken, but that balance will come back. That is also what this is indicative of. But spirit is also letting you know that you do have a choice to leave. Spirit is granting your request if you choose to leave. If you choose to let this thing die, spirit is granting your request. If you want to know what will happen after, I recommend you get your private reading. Don't just make a decision and get the fucking stuff up and then come to me when things are a hot ass mess and then all I could do is listen to you cry and vent and then there's nothing I can tell you. Get your readings before the shit hits the fan. Okay? If this reading did not apply to you, it's because it's not for you. If it did, it's because it is for you. So if it is for you, I ask that you hit like and subscribe if you have not already. And I ask that you leave your comments. Because those comments are not just for me, baby. Because I love to hear and I love to interact with you guys. But they're also for you guys, each other, down there in that comment section. So that you guys can see that you're not the only person dealing with this type of stuff. Spirit is throwing a monkey wrench in everybody's relationship. Why? Because Spirit wants to see who's going to hang in there. Who's going to endure in these relationships when it's time to endure? And who's going to, who's smart enough to know when that relationship is over? Because spirit has somebody else in store for you. You learned what you needed to learn in that thing. You did everything that you could for that person in that thing. That person is no longer at a place where they are, they are corrigible. They are incorrigible at this point, And they are going to have to get into another soul union with somebody else where they're going to have to learn that lesson with somebody who was perfect to teach them that lesson. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to upgrade because you deserve that upgrade because you gave upgrade material in the relationship. I'm telling you, this is how these relationships work. I'm going through the shit myself. I have to become the best version of myself before I can, I can expect that man to walk back into this door if I so choose by the time I do become the absolute best version of myself because I'm in the process of being that. If I so choose, once I become the best version of myself, I may not want him to come back because I may very easily be able to see that he is no longer the best version of himself according to what I thought the best version of himself was. I saw the discrepancies in the relationship. My intuition let me know there were things in the relationship that were, that were not right. He still will not admit to this day things that I know that he's done. How much respect are you going to give somebody who's just going to sit there and lie to you in your face? When the high priestess pops up, that tells you your intuition is letting you know things are popping off in this relationship that should not be. And your intuition is telling you what it is, but every damn time that you bring it up to this person, you get active with this person and let them know, I'm about to let you know how I feel because swords talk about thoughts and feelings, okay? So whenever you get in this person's butt, so to speak, and you say to them, excuse me, we need to talk. You got your sword out. And you're like, we need to talk. I need to hear your thoughts and you need to hear mine. And this person only wants to come at you from a loving perspective when they know that you're at your highest level of pissivity. And then they act right for a little bit longer. And then they turn around and bust this shit again. See, these two cards are one in the damn same. Somebody who likes to just come and go, take off whenever they want to. And that comes from a very selfish place because they just know you're going to be there. Well, what, what, what would happen if you weren't there the next time they tried to play this game? They'd be devastated. And the goal is not to devastate them, but the goal is to teach them how to treat people right who love them. That's the goal. And sometimes we lose that battle because that person is not ready to learn that lesson. So Aquarius, if this resonated with you in any way, shape, or form, and you feel that you want to go into your personal cards... 
book your private reading so that you don't have to wait for your reading. Because if I get an influx of reading, it's first come, first serve. And it happens all the time. Right now, things are at a very, you know, doable level. Book your readings when it's at that level, please. So that I don't have to shut down shop because I'm booked all the way to like mid-March. If you feel that this reading resonates with you, book your private reading. You need it. You need it because you're in a state of, yeah, my intuition is telling me this and my intuition is telling me that. And I'm thinking about letting this relationship die. Yeah, something that used to make me very happy, something that used to fill my cup so much. So I'm just now, I don't even recognize who the hell I'm with anymore. This person is so selfish. There's no more balance in the relationship. The only balance is these super high highs and these super low lows. Either I really, really love this person or my heart is completely broken by what they've done. And I have to make a decision. I have to make a decision. And it looks like the decision is to trust the universe and know that if you do move on, you ain't gonna be alone forever. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you even have to make this choice if you were not the loving individual in the relationship? And if this is a vice versa reading, that applies to you as well. Because that's one of the, like I said, one of the first thoughts that we think when we end a relationship. How long am I going to be single? I don't want to be single. Like being single is like a death sentence. No, it's not. It gives you the opportunity to get to know who the hell you are. It's so easy to lose yourself in relationships. It really is. Because now you're doing things according to the way the other person wanted you to do them. You're not doing things your way anymore. You're doing things the way they want you to do them. And so then what happens? You start to lose what you like and what you want to do. What happened to this relationship being a situation where sometimes we do what you want to do and sometimes we do what I want to do. But I don't even see where that where that's even an option in this particular scenario. I see where this person is just doing whatever the hell they want to do. And now you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision on if you're going to set boundaries with this person and enforce them. Or if you're going to let this relationship die because this person is just a little bit too selfish for you to work with them.